Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to not only register, but download and install Studio One for the first time. Let's check it out. All right, at presonus.com here is where you're going to manage your content that's corresponding to the version of Studio One that you bought. And you're also gonna manage your licenses, download software, be part of that whole social experience. And there's a lot to gain by signing up. What you wanna do first is come up to log into my.presonus and select that link. And signing up is really easy. Just create a my.presonus account here. I already have one, so I'm going to log in. And there we are, that's me. Now, if you noticed, it keeps track of my purchases all the way back, look at that, 2010. Studio One Artist, that's when I got started. And you can register a new product from here and also get access to your content that's related to the version that you own. And this is where we can start by downloading the software and activating it. Now your portal may look a little different depending on what version you choose to start with. Don't forget, as I mentioned before, you can, if you wanna follow along with these videos, just visit presonus.com and look for Studio One Prime. Prime is a completely free version, as I mentioned before. And it has all the same features, a lot of the same flexibility and power, comes some, with some effects and some loops and samples for you to get started. And it's cutting edge, and this is completely free. So if you wanna just try out the software and follow along, like I mentioned, download Studio One Prime and get going. And also from here, you can get some more information regarding Studio One Artist, and Studio One Professional too. All right, now back to our content. I want to, let's start at the top here. You can do an offline activation, you can transfer your licenses, and it helps you manage your licenses. Right now I'm using two of five activations. Here when I select my activation manager, you'll see that both my MacBook Pros are activated. That's the geek in me, gotta have two. And you can remove those licenses, freeing them up again for whatever reason. You know, sometimes that happens. You, you sell some hardware or, you know, for any reason at all. Now, it's detecting that I'm using a Mac. So it's preloading the installer for me. Keep in mind that Studio One works brilliantly on a Windows platform. Absolutely no problems, no questions. In fact, I'm going to try that out myself on my Windows workstation that I use for video editing later. So absolutely works great on a Mac and on a PC. Here it says to activate your copy, enter your product key and email address and you're good to go. Now included here, you have extra downloads. Studio One Pro comes with Melodyne Essential, both for Windows and Mac, as I explained before, which is really near and dear to my heart. Uh, just a brilliant audio editor and the fact that it includes it is a really, really cool bonus. And you also get access to some training materials uh, manuals and release notes. All right. Now I'm going to choose here, show 31 included sounds. And this is what I was talking about. There is about 30 to 40 gigabytes of included virtual instruments, sound packs, and effects that come with Studio One Pro. Check them out. Studio One Instruments Volume 1. We've got acoustic guitars. Basses, electric guitars. Some of these are two gigabytes, two and a half gigabytes. So as I said, it's not installed when you first install Studio One Pro because it would take up a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of space on your hard drive. So what's, what uh, the good folks at Presonus have done is allow you to choose what you want to download and install and try. And you can also access this from the Studio One software too. So you've got variable ways to gain access to, I mean, all this like really, really powerful and super creative software. All right. Now what we're going to do is once you download the software, simply run the installer, activate it with your serial license key that's included. And then when the product launches, we'll go over those first initial steps and what you need to know. Okay, so once you download it, Install Studio One and open it up for the first time. Okay, so when you first launch Studio One, you're going to get this welcome window. It wants to know where you want to download your extra content from. 
and where to install it too. Typically, I leave this on the recommended installation settings, but you can choose custom or different installations if you want, for whatever reason you might have. Okay, but you've got those choices. Now next, here I wanna select Show Packages. This is gonna give you information about what's included with your software. Plus the disclosure arrow will give you more insight into what you can download. These are referencing the content packages that I showed you online just a moment ago. You can download them right from Studio One from your computer without having to go to your, your account because you're already logged in here. Some loop libraries, and it'll even tell you which ones are installed here, as you can see. I've got the uh, Studio One Music Loops here already installed, so you don't accidentally go and download them again if you don't need to. Some impulse responses, and from within this, you can also add documentation. This is gonna be the manual. Always re recommend having one of these on hand. And Presonus also provides you a legacy compatibility. If you have older equipment, older software, I should say, and if it's compatible, you can still use it. All right. Not to mention, Studio One Pro here comes with Celimony Melodyne Essential. And if you buy anything directly from Studio One, it'll be under My Purchased Items. And this is where you can input your serial key to uh, download and have it installed. Now, if you press Install, everything you choose will be downloaded and installed for you. Now, if you notice, that takes up a lot of memory. That would be 31.7 gigabytes. And uh, of course, I've got the room, but I don't need it. Uh, not for this demo. <laughs> you can also check for available downloads too. Uh, something new comes along and uh, or if you purchase something, there you have it. So this installation window it will help you select some certain preferences and get you going with downloading content. Now, you can download content from within Studio One at any time without seeing this preliminary installation window. So don't worry about that. Plus, you can download it from your uh, Presonus uh, login page at Presonus.com. All right, now that it's installed, we are ready to go. Let's do some setup. Hey, everyone, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.